I'm watching CNN, <clears throat> and I have to respond. Well, this is HLN, but I, I believe they were an offshoot of CNN, which was bought from Turner Broadcasting way back. They are so chastising, attacking Donald Trump, and they're saying the media is just this doing their job. Well, I don't know. There's a lot of people wouldn't believe that, and, and a lot of them don't care unless, like an FBI agent told me, they see it bores them, and he pretend to yawn what I was telling until they see how it affects them. I'm watching these appear on um, HLN. It's 12.30. And uh, this one woman's correct. They're chastising. They're just beating up on Donald Trump. He told you the media is corrupt. They are so corrupt, it stinks to high heaven. The one thing they can't do is they can't explain why they have deleted me, not told one thing about me, my father, the takedown of my father, because I can tell you why. The Illuminati controls them. You're pressed. They have for a long, long time. They've deleted the truth. My father, I'll say it again, was taken down by the Illuminati, Edward VIII, and married to my mom, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, from Madison, Wisconsin, George O'Keefe's sister. They've deleted her pictures her from history, really, except her name, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe. Now, they kidnapped me in uh, 41. I'm saying this again and again, and I've put this up on YouTube and Facebook and back up. Anybody can see the timeline and go from there and see what happens. Your Illuminati, on one hand, this one girl up here that thinks she's tough stuff and knows everything. She knows, if she knows it, she's covering it up. She, um, well, <laughs> what can I say? I've said it over and over again. When it was Turner Broadcasting, my husband and I went there. We had a letter from the FBI where I'd done a book. Then you got Larry Flint getting shot, and it was a program shooter, mind control. So you're getting into stuff I was telling, war games, what you can do with um, mind control, and what used to be MK Ultra. but are they the bad guys, or is the press for not telling uh all this because they don't want to tell about the takedown of my dad, didn't marry Wallace Simpson, took down, kidnapped me, and, and what was done to my children. Believe me, they do not want it told. So the, everything you, all you have to do is look at the, the TV stations, the networks, which are controlled out of Rockefeller Plaza Center up there, headquarters, and the United Nations, which came to me after they took my father down and kidnapped me. Uh, now, how do I go any further? Because way back, when Flint was shot and before and after, my husband and I went to the networks, all of them there, for Sawyer, which happened to be a, a kind of good guy, but then he's retired. I guess he couldn't do anything. But the mess that's gone on. I have put it up here for years and years. Of course, they've known it since the day they took my father down and they kidnapped me and did what they've done to my children. So what if these people, they have sit here and lied, deleted the news, have created havoc, havoc and hell for people. You don't want to tell about me because that would tell what you did to my father, my mom, my kids, my country, England, the Brits. But you don't want to tell about mind control murders. Virginia Tech right next door was a program shooter that killed. So, and it's not just that. There's lists that a friend of mine who's FBI and works for the uh, press, well, he's deceased now the last, he died about two or three years ago, a little bit older than me, a few years he died an honest man. He tried to get things published because there were deaths at Marshall Space Flight Center at, um, I, I really can't, well, I'm sure there were. Yeah, I can too. But uh, that worked for uh, the government there at Redstone Arsenal, NASA, all that. I had a list. I had Bonnie Saylor that came to me, and I've put it up over the years. She came to me, and I was in bad condition after I was almost killed in uh 
April of 81. This has been taken to Ronald Reagan. This was taken. It has background. So the one thing, and I'm looking at him, you can't tell, and you don't want to, is about me. I hope to God Donald Trump turns around and he's able to force you people to own up. Then who's going to make you pay for it? The hell you've created, and you're still lying, and you'll go on lying. Um... The, the what people will worry about if it, it's ever told Scott Peterson's on death row, and you get all these others, you've got a list of uh, people that are murdered using mind control, and God knows how many others that there's not a list. Then, uh, you know, because it's you can't see mind control. The ones I talked about are done in uh, patterns, but there's others. People kill, like Bunny Saylor came to me, begged me to go to the district attorney I work for, and I thought, lady, do you know what has just been done to me? And I'm working for him, and I'm told for them to not by them not to talk about what was done to me. And I thought, lady, I would, ha and I did. This is just me. I went out and I went to a church at Whitesburg. You know what the preacher said to me at the minister? I went to him. And uh, he, he got angry <laughs> because he's afraid, afraid of his job, afraid of telling the truth or helping. He said, well, then he put it back on me. Why don't you go to the district attorney you're uh, working for? Well, I mean, he knew I had. I worked for him. Bonnie Saylor came to me. She'd been to him. Everybody, so you go to the minister. You think of the church of that claims he loves God and all that would do something, right? He didn't. In fact, he was angry I even came there. So Bonnie Saylor, here's what she told me, and I remember her name from way back then. Um, she said that she had gone, made the rounds in trying to get law to help her and couldn't and she'd heard of me she said that her husband was ready to retire with two others in a lab he worked for for the government there and uh they they were ready to retire top security placed under um an investigation okay so now they're ready to retire, so obviously they'd been there for a long time. They had top security working in a lab. So now then they're under investigation, and her husband, she goes home, and he's in a bathtub, and he's got a rifle beside him, and it was ruled suicide. I said ruled suicide. I don't know. Was it? Now then, our mind control, and you can do a lot with that, you know contortionism and everything, just like um, Mork for Mork. But anyway, uh, Robin Williams, by the way. Now, there was the other one that developed rare cancer, and he died. Now then, there's the other one that uh, ran his river, in, uh, <laughs> ran his river, ran his car into the Tennessee River near Huntsville right, at Huntsville, and drowned. Now, all three of these were under investigation, ready to retire, top secret, died, nobody to touch it. Here his wife's coming to me, Bonnie Saylor is. And I'm trying to tell all this, and you know what? People have called me names. They hate my guts, really. They, uh, just like the FBI agent said to me when he yawned years ago down there, he said, what you're telling them bores them. Uh, especially about who my dad is. If, at that time, I didn't know. It was in 83 when I found out, when I was flown out to Mr. Flint's, who had been shot, and I was writing about him back then. And so fast forward to 83 is when I found out about my kidnapping. But the FBI agent was sitting there. This would have been back, I think, in... Uh, I'm not sure that I, it was 79 or it was in... 82, I, I was down there twice at the FBI headquarters, I guess, in 82. But he said that I bored them, and they pretend to yawn. He said it's only when they find out how it affects them that they care. So I'm going to put this up again because it's most infuriating, and I hope you don't take that wrong, Press. Jeez. Um, Trump may be the only hope you have. Um uh, 
you may not have any if this is the end times, which I never associated anything with revelations till it came so far what I was working with and about chipping people and the Illuminati kidnapping me as I found out about it. Now then, I've posted because the church sent me a book that was published, I believe, in 96 by Tex Mars. And it was kind of a, not a pocket book, but a smaller book, but it's thick. And um, they were telling, the church sent it up there to me. I was having to live on the Appalachian Trail and have a place to be. And said this was what I had been speaking of. Well, it talks about Mark of the Beast. And down beneath it, it has a picture of Timothy McVeigh. And in it, and I've put this up several times, he tells about the military army putting the chip up his buttocks so they programmed him, <laughs> and that he blew up the Murray Federal Building in Oklahoma City, and he was put to death. You know, I should think if you don't care about me or don't want to hear about me being kidnapped, from, but you can run down and love Meghan Markle and uh, William and Kate and uh, bow before a fake uh, monarch, uh, what else? How would she fit in the Bible? You know, you got her the good guy. In this, she works for Illuminati, which is in the Bible, your beast, your global government to help kidnap me and take my dad down. Um, and then I'm going to stop here because then you take up for the press. The press is up there <laughs> lying, attacking Trump, and God knows, as far as I know, Donald Trump's a good guy. And if I sound rambling, excuse me, maybe you all with your pretty hair and your lies sitting up there and going home to your family's kids and beautiful clothes and eating out, maybe you sh should try walking in my shoes one minute and take your... Uh, tell your press, make your press, go over to Elizabeth and demand from her what she knows about her part in all this <laughs> rather than running over to Saudi Arabia and attacking the king and prince because a journalist is killed that worked for the Washington Post. You know, people, if this is all laid out by the grace of God or whoever, you know, the people as a whole in the world, I don't think, would find it funny. And you might find some of the press handcuffed, hauled there, and put in jail where they should have been a long time ago. But, of course, who do you get to dig them up out of the grave? They're dead. Unless there's God, why, well, they've gotten away with it. So here's this pretty thing up there that's uh, drawing all this money and making all this by making accusations about how dare press, uh, uh, Trump uh, accuse the media of being the enemy? Well, that's just telling the truth. So if you don't want him to tell the truth, come out and say it. Say, hey, President, don't tell the truth, because we sure aren't.